Okay. <clears throat> I figured I'd get around to showing this because I bought it last month or two months ago, or I don't know when I bought it, but I got it at the Goodwill shop because it looked unique in a way, and uh, I kind of sort of have a soft spot for little novelty radios, despite the fact that it's made in China. But, yeah, this was originally purchased at Family Dollar for four ninety nine. But apparently it either wasn't used or maybe used once and then put back in the box. I don't know. But I picked it up for $2.99. And it's an innovative design and sensitive reception. Power indicator. Uses three AA batteries. Frequency range, all that neat stuff. And it's marketed by Curtis. Same thing on this side, except it's in a different language. And... Even though it says AM FM radio, but it's listed on the box, it looks like it's one of those FM only scan models. PC styling. So, yeah, let's take it out of the box and check it out. Well, here's the instruction manual and um, what all each. And here's the warranty card, which obviously does not apply anymore because this thing is probably, I don't know, at least 10 years old. And here it is out of the box. Here's the keyboard, which is supposed to slide in, and doing this with one hand is not come. You know what? Here's a volume control with the mouse, so nice. There we go. Yeah, my camera acted up again, so let me get the batteries put in and we'll go from there. Okay. Here we go. Well, it's got a light on, so that's something. Good sound. fluorescent light, but... Eh, not bad. Could be better, but for novelty radio, it's probably just gonna be put on the shelf and shown off, or... I don't know. So I guess I'm gonna conclude this video of the Curtis AMFM novelty radio that looks like a computer PC with a huge honking ass CRT monitor all RC-175 I guess till next time I'm going to thanks for watching the comment box is open!